Hey guys, what is up? Today we're going to be looking at NCT 127 and Cherry Bomb, as you can already read by the title. However, I want to go into this video and I want to explain a little bit why. Now, I've been told to watch this video and to say, okay, what do you really think about it? Because there was something about it that other people were questioning to say, is this actually something good or is this something bad? And I watched it once already with a very unsubjective way, just unbiased, just trying to jump into it and listen to the song, see how it was. And now we're going to jump into it again and I'm going to be a little bit more analytical. There's a few things that I picked up that I did not like already from the start But guys before we get into the video if you have any suggestions on what video you want me to review next Then please put it in the comments below That's the only way I will find out what you want me to review next But for now, let's jump right into NCT 127 and But it but it be like cherry bomb click yo cherry bomb Oh no, what's with the lip sync? Ah, you guys, you know how I just hate it when you watch a music video and the lip sync is completely wrong. And some people already comment and say, hey, it's an MV, but you don't need perfect lip sync. Yeah, but no, it's a music video. That's like watching a video where you want a pilot to take off of a plane, but he doesn't fly with it. He's just sitting in the cockpit. You have to do what you're supposed to do. And this is a music video and not a dance video so it is important and if you're trying to lip sync the voice with the singing or the sound itself do this a little bit more accurate because it's not nice when you see small points like this and they just go you know it just looks as if they were just moving their lips and it doesn't match up to what is actually being said a little bit disappointing oh wow one more thing i want to mention and i didn't even want to mention the purple yet i thought i can ignore it but when we look at this scene, the purple is so distracting. It just destroys the entire scene. Whoever the whoever created this idea with creating these cinema bars in purple, don't hire him again, please. It is just very ugly to look at. It's just an ugly color for this particular video and especially the scene. That's why you normally use black. Sometimes people use white because these are kind of neutral colors. They are colors that don't distract. But purple is very aggressive. And if you guys want to make a music video, please don't do this. Please just don't do this. Ooh. Yeah, again, it just doesn't fit at all. The purple is just so distracting. And I'm just going to mention it again. Why did they do this? Who thought of this idea and said, that's cool. You know what we need? Purple bars. Purple bars non-stop throughout the video while it doesn't even match the entire video. Yeah, cherry bomb, but cherries are not even purple. Why? Mm. So I'm a little bit confused about the color grading so far because we're jumping from warm, cold, warm, cold, neutral, and it's a little bit distracting. Again, if we look, for example, here, it's a warm color. Here we again have a little bit of a neutral white, while the other one, like I said, was more warm. There should be another one where it's a little bit colder, and now it's cold again. Why? I don't know. It just doesn't seem doesn't really seem that organized, in my opinion. Kind of cool though with the effects. I like that. I like when you know you have artists that need to kind of draw these things because these are normally assets you can't just buy, so they hand draw them. I don't know if they bought them or not, or someone was really there paid to draw them. It would have been cooler, but I like what they did. It's nice adding these things to the video. Oh, the purple is so distracting. Oh, by the way, guys, this is very interesting to see. When you work on a production, by the way, one thing I learned from all the people I've worked with. Don't use reflections. Don't film what you can see in the background. Here you can literally see the lighting panels that are used and they're a little bit distracting because you cannot really see what's happening or what's actually in that frame there. Yeah, not the best, but I would have maybe just say, can we shoot this at a different angle? Place the lights maybe a little bit different, higher or even better, just remove the reflection in the back by not having this piece of glass there. Maybe put a picture there that has a matte finish and that can also be, well, quite useful. That's what I would have done there. I really like the animations though, being popping up all the time. Literally, I don't understand the color grade here at all. Here again, it looks a little bit more purplish 
And here the bars do make sense. Like here it kind of still looks good because it is not as distracting as with the other scenes. But now you're jumping into this scene again and it's very distracting. And then the color balance is completely different from the rest again. It's, it's very disorientated. Like here, again, it's a very warm scene and you have to look at the purple. I'm sorry guys, but I'm just gonna bring it up that it just doesn't fit. Whoever came up with this idea, really annoying. Clap your hands. Yeah. Uh, I love the choreography, by the way. That's a very nice cut. They really clapped it on the movement where they moved their hands. There we go. Really, really nice cut. That's exactly something I would have done. I think it's super cool. Very nice. I think these scenes would have been much better just without the purple. For example, here, his head is even cut off. Can you just imagine if the bars were not there, we could see everything. We could see everything properly and not be distracted by the purple. Uh, uh, uh. Really nice shots though, like I'm happy that I think that is a real helicopter. I think so, because if you look, the wind actually comes from the top. Most likely it is. I wouldn't be surprised because this is not expensive to do. It's just hire a helicopter for a couple of scenes, film them all, go with the helicopter, and you only pay for an hour to film as much as you want with it. Be productive, be effective, but be effective in a good way. <laughs> what? <laughs> this helicopter looks... This just looks really bad though. Like, I don't know if this is a green screen or they added this in post, but this just looks really awkward in all honesty. Plus, a helicopter would be super loud. Okay. Doesn't look that good to be honest, but... Uh... I'm the biggest hit. I'm the biggest hit on the stage. Super cool way, by the way, on how they edited this video. You know, with all the different pieces of footage that they have and stick them on top of each other. I think that is super cool. Some interesting transitions. I'm not going to say they're my favorite, but they're usable. You know, you, you can use them. Okay, guys. Put in the comments below what you think of the purple on this scene. Does it fit? Does it not fit? Is it just my eyes that is really just irritated about the purple? Or could it just have left it out? They could have. I know. Maybe not. Tell me in the comments below what you guys actually think of that. Like cherry bomb. Click yo. Super nice transitions though. But you can clearly see that they actually have a full choreography for this song, which is super cool. I wish they just focused more on the choreography rather than all these weird snippets and making it as hectic as possible because I think the choreography is superb. It's super nice. And we already saw it from some previous scenes that they could actually edit some of these parts nicely together. You know, these very quick transitions on the snaps, on the movements, beautiful. But we get a lot of things that are a little bit distracting. But I do like the transitions and what they're doing here. Really, really nice, actually. Warm, cold, warm, cold, warm, cold. And now the lip sync is actually slowly getting better. That's good. Just the beginning is, was just really bad. You can actually see when people sing it and when they're just pretending to or trying to. Oh wow, you can literally see how much equipment they have. Lights here, lights there. Most likely they also have a light source here. You can see they put a lot of money into the equipment. But I think it's still very important to say, try to reduce showing the equipment. It's not as nice as you think. Wow, that was a nice transition. Again, on the clap. What? That's really spot on. One sec. Let's jump from scene. Ah, that's really, 
That's really nice. Nice, 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 nice. You see, the choreography is there, but I'm just very curious on what is actually happening. You see, you have a lot of things happening. That's kind of cool. Like, to be honest, that's a very cool shot. I always think it's cool when they do something out of the ordinary. That's cool. That's interesting. Oh, that's actually super cool. That was a door? I thought it was a frame. But even if it was a door, why did they not just keep this matte? Because like I say, now the reflections of the lights are gone. Most likely they turned them off or they put them higher or they're not visible because they're blocked by the purple. Okay, the purple is actually doing something good then. But I just want to say I th wish they got rid of the glass and just made it into a door or something similar. Na 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 na. Yeah. Uh, uh. See, that's a cool shot as well. You know, it has a relation to the song name itself, Cherry Bomb. Again, I don't know the correlation of Cherry Bomb and what the actual meaning is, but it's super cool. Yeah. Uh, super cool choreography. I think the choreography should have been the selling point here. They really missed that. They really missed that. So that was Cherry Bomb with NCT127. Guys, I'm going to be honest. This is one of the first times I watched a MV from K-pop and I'm actually very disappointed in how they produced it. For some reason, the puzzle pieces don't fit together. It, it seems as if so many people filmed this and they filmed it on different days and on every day they had a different producer. It just doesn't make sense to me. Why do we have different color gradients? Why are the color palettes all mixed up on all different scenes? Who put that purple in the video? It's just so distracting. And maybe this is all to make a statement to say we can do what we want and make it look good. But to be honest, no, this video was very annoying for me to watch purely based on those cinema bars that are actually in this really weird purple. Again, in the comments below, maybe someone can explain why it was purple. Maybe there's a correlation behind it. I am not very sure. I think they did a fantastic job with the choreography. I think they did a fantastic job with most of the editing, but when it comes to the color grading and especially that purple, it's a real no-go and it's really, really bad. And this is actually going to be my lowest score that I ever gave on any of my K-pop videos. I'm going to give this video literally just a mediocre 5 out of 10. It is just disappointing to look at and it's not a video where I'm actually intrigued to watch it again. I just really think the video is just disorientated. It seems like no one had a clue on what was happening and it just seems like trying to puzzle piece something together. Maybe this is something that happened. I have no idea. But I wouldn't really say that this is a highlight from NCT 127, especially we saw many other videos from them such as kick it and that was a really really good production so what happened with cherry bomb someone explain it to me nct 127 phone me i want to know what happened here so yeah guys what do you think of my analysis am i right am i wrong i really have no idea what you guys think so just leave it in the comments below and like i already said at the beginning of the video if you got any recommendations on videos you want me to see in the near future put them in the comments below and for now guys thank you very much for watching and of course if you want to support the channel make sure you hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to see a next video with me analyzing a video and maybe even with one of your recommended videos that you put in the comments so thank you very much guys and catch you on the next video